too much you know okay anyway today i'm going to be teaming up with your list of wigs of course if you guys are interested in my braids and how to kind of you know get your hair right before you actually apply your wigs i do have about two videos to show you how to pretty much do some cornrows just straight to the back i have about what's that two four six eight braids go into the back here just in a rubber band nothing too too fancy the makeup of course i did do a makeup tutorial so that will be out around the same time that this video uh, is posted hopefully the makeup is first um so you guys will get a quick look at that so the details of the hair will be listed down in my description box below so definitely make sure to check that out on to the hair so this beautiful look at this color this is first of all this is like a hmm a true paprika like a true paprika color seriously more on the coral side a little bit it's just like I don't know there's so many tones in here it's kind of like a coral kind of like a soft pink all right so yeah this unit will actually be on my website so I'm gonna be obviously showing you guys how to install it and things like that but I will I will <laughs> post it for resale on my website as well which those details will be listed in my description box below um, but yeah this is what the inside of the wig looks like so of course it is a frontal it does have this glue well I guess kind of glueless clap cap clap <laughs> cap here because we have the uh, elastic band which obviously I did install one they actually give you one in the box so that's perfect it's a thin one I did go ahead and measure that out I do have a full video um, showing you how to measure out the elastic bands for the glueless method um, as well it does come with the adjustable band in the back it has combs I never use the combs I almost like uninstall them to use them for other wigs for clients saving some money cutting corners by all means necessary okay <laughs> um, but nevertheless I'm gonna show you how to install this so before we actually put it on our head I'm gonna plug up my handy dandy hot comb because you guys know I need this to be extremely hot just to really lay down the hair in the direction that I want it to go so I did get this from a beauty supply store you guys can find this Target, Walmart, beauty supply store, um, CVS, Walgreens, all that like anywhere um, I guess like certain products are sold like beauty products are sold you should be able to find it Ulta probably not <laughs> That was an insider but anyway so yeah so i already have the back of the wig tied up i do already have uh the lace cut from around my ears just kind of shape that out if you guys are unfamiliar with how to um tell you know where you need to cut the lace and where to measure and things like that i have a video for that as well y'all i literally have a video for everything so yeah so what I like to do with units like this because I can tell this lace is a little bit thicker so it is not super transparent when I say it's transparent well when I say super transparent it is a light brown lace more on the transparent side however it's not as thin as like you know a HD lace or anything like that so I want to make sure that this color will match me perfectly I'm actually gonna go ahead and take some of my foundation this is the color uh, woke up like this by Il Maquillage 118 you don't specifically have to use this one if you don't but if you don't want to um, but I am gonna be using this today so I'm taking a nice fluffy powder brush this is not a makeup tutorial I promise you it's not I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this foundation on the back of my hand boom there we go and then with the brush I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of pat this out because what I want to do is apply this to my lace and I don't want this to apply too too heavy or too too wet so I want to kind of dry it up a little bit just to make it easier to work with so once you're comfortable which now I am about 10 seconds later I'll go ahead and take the actual unit here it's gonna be hard for me to show you this this way but I'll do it in my lap and I literally just apply the brush here and brush this directly into the lace so I mostly focus this towards the front uh, hairline area because that's really where you want um, everything to blend obviously in the part area as well so you want to just take this all the way back continue to do this if you need more product definitely don't hesitate to get that um, do this on the inside of the wig and meet me back here when you get done doing that <laughs> alright so all done with that what I'm literally gonna do from this point it's just apply it so let me show you what this looks like I'm literally just gonna how much time I'm say literally I know I get on y'all nerves with that I cannot help it it's like once I get in front of the camera literally just comes out <laughs> make sure that you have the elastic band you can tuck it underneath your braid I'm actually gonna do that pull these braids up and out so that I make sure it's close against the nape of my neck you also want to make sure the nape of your neck is moisturized because that is probably one of the main causes for hair breakage and things like that Go ahead and tuck your braids up under. If you bald head, small head, skip this part of the combo. <laughs> and yeah, fold this down. So 
keep in mind this is the unit straight out of the packaging literally all that I've done already like before starting the video is cut off around the ears here let me brighten up my little ring light okay boom and you guys are able to see and I don't have on a cap I'm not gonna put one on here I do have small enough braids to where no matter where I parted I should be good so uh, this wig is tight like not going nowhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the hair out of my face y'all I'm liking the color already gonna take a little bit of mousse just to kind of really get rid of some of these flyaways and make sure that none of this interferes with the whole process of me trimming off the lace and also um I guess melting this kind of more into my skin. I have not done any trimming, tweezing, plucking, nothing. I allowed the company to do what it was they wanted to do to show, I'm sorry, <laughs> to show you how exactly their units come before having to do anything. Now this looks scary now, okay? So we gonna have to fix this. Cause, mm -mm. okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start cutting off this lace. This is definitely a thicker lace, I can feel that. It's not bad, I don't think, for the price, is what I would say. Okay, so the lace is thicker, but it still melts into the skin. The only thing that I would say was that my forehead looks huge. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this a little bit more. Really kind of move it up to where I want it to be. You guys know with the lace wigs, we have the luxury of faking small foreheads. So, thank you, whoever decided to do that for us. Alright, so boom, cut that off. All this around here is tight. I'm not even going to be doing too much except for applying the flaps and kind of laying those down. That's literally all I'm going to be doing. So I'm taking some of my Gotta Be Glue spray. If you choose to, um, I guess glue this down, you can. In my opinion, there's no need to just because it's already set up for a glueless method and it's not going anywhere. I promise you it is not going anywhere. This wig is so tight. Like I'm actually going to take this off the moment this video is it's done after I get some cute pictures. Okay. So we have this completely laid down, y'all. I, pro I promise y'all it's not going anywhere. That is so crazy. Okay. Let me just cut off this extra lace right here. All right, boom. So we have our wig on in five minutes or less. Go ahead and pull this out so we can kind of get a feel for it so the hair straight out of the gate is really soft like extremely soft especially like if this was 613 hair first and then they dyed it not really sure what that process looks like but the hair color babes I need to change my dress this is like night clothes <laughs> but okay I don't know if y'all are in the mood for baby hair and all that I'm kind of not in the mood for that even though I know I'm going to be doing a side part so it'll end up turning into some form of something. Um, so let's go ahead and just see what we're going to do. So we're going to start off here. See what the parting space is like. Okay, so immediately I am coming into contact with something right here. This is just a cap, obviously, y'all. I'm so goofy. <laughs> coming into contact with something. <laughs> ah, because it's kind of made like a frontal. So you know on the frontals it's that 13 by 4 so you can only part so far back. Um, but that's not a big deal for me. And just because of this hair color, I am actually going to take the foundation in the part, even though I have this parted in the exact same area that my hair is parted. So you can clearly see through, but I want this to kind of really peek through and be prevalent. So I want you guys to see that in my opinion, I probably would have done like darker roots here. Or it could just be my skin tone. Like I think it's a little bit too something for my skin tone so I probably oh I probably could go back and do like another watercolor color on this unit let me take this off sorry y'all I'll take it off but at least like pull it down because like this color is distracting and then I'm actually going to take some of my Kenra thermal spray um just to go ahead and spray this area because I want to be able to mold the parts I'm actually going to put this all throughout the hair because I'm going to be straightening it out even though it's already straight you guys and it is pretty long it comes down to my waist area sorry giving y'all that weird kind of like view but y'all this is cute <laughs> it is cute okay so i'm pulling out a little bit of hairs that people like to call baby <laughs> and yeah i'm just gonna cut this a little bit and then use some mousse to kind of mold them down Cause I'm not sure like if I want to do the baby out like I'm thinking like I don't need them 
especially because it's so close to like my skin color okay so we can do a little bit and if you guys are wondering what mousse I'm using, it is the Shea Moisture. I'm almost out, y'all. I cannot find that cream of nature. If you can, send me a link. I think somebody told me it was on Amazon, but I don't know. I ain't never looked, so asking for help and then don't even take it, right? <laughs> so human of me. Okay. Oh, no. Nah, that's cute right there. Little baby hairs all fleek. And this can kind of be used as like a light holding spray as well. So if you don't want to, you know, use something so harsh, take your good old handy D&D notebook, <laughs> hot comb, and lay this hair over. The good thing about this is the frontal hairs are not thick and like overly packed at all. So it's definitely enough hair to where I can say, yeah, this is a full wig. Ouch, I burned myself. This is a full wig, but it's not to the point where I'm just like, okay. Like, this is too damn thick. Because there's been times where I've had like the 613 hair and I've needed to go through and literally pluck out the entire frontal. So, yeah. So I could totally curl this or not. If I curl it, I feel like we going stripper bobs. Forever Chrissy turns stripper. <laughs> like. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to curl it or not, but I'm definitely going to hit it with a flat iron and straighten this out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I have this on 450. This is my FHI platform. Two inch flat iron. And like I said before, I'm just going to spray this all throughout the hair. I don't even remember if I did it or not. But it never hurts. So one thing about this product is that it does not get cakey at all. It is used as a light holding spray. And so it keeps everything in place without just kind of getting like, I don't know, crusty and stale. <laughs> I don't even think I need like oil on this hair. Like it's shiny and all that. I'm not even going to put any oil, y'all. This hair is so effing soft. So the good thing about this flat iron is it literally heats up within seconds. Ooh. <laughs>